good day and welcome to this tutorial class. My name is Oluwatunbi Blessing Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, so once again, we'll be looking at uh, the problem number 30, yeah, from Engineering Drain 1 by Pickup and Parker on link or crank mechanism. All right, so the uh, problem is on the screen right there. The crank OA in the figure rotates clockwise at constant speed and during one revolution e moves from c to d and back to c listen to that statement all right they say the question says what it moves from c to d and back to c when making a complete revolution do you get it now from c to d and back to c under a revolution okay and at constant speed yeah the speed doesn't vary okay the same speed which it uses to shift from c to d it maintains the same speed back to c okay at constant speed all right so if the initial position of the mechanism is as shown in the figure draw the locus of v during one revolution of oa if oa is 25 centimeter and bc ac are what 75 centimeter okay so the very first thing i'm going to actually do here is uh, to produce a thin horizontal line in this order all right in this order like this okay after producing that i'm going to produce a perpendicular line to it like this okay so we are told that our crank oa is uh 25 millimeters so this is my ruler right here i pick my compass i measure length of what uh radius 25 which is this with radius 25 standing at this junction okay i what I produce this circle as you can see on the screen I am producing that circle okay before I proceed I'm going to divide this circle first of all into what into 12 equal parts so to divide the circle into 12 equal parts you can actually look through our YouTube channel as my gate to learn how to divide the circle into what into 12 equal parts thank you okay so the next thing is what is uh, the direction of our arrow we are told that it rotates what it rotates clockwise so from this midpoint I show the direction of my arrow which is this okay sorry for the uh do you see that so just e pick a convenient radius extend it beyond oa okay that's the direction of our what of our arrow okay so this is our what our mark what our mark a so i denote this as a not this as a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 a9 a10 and what and a11 all right so the next thing is this the next step is this okay so i'm going to pick a distance of 13 millimeters downward based on the problem on the screen so from this center okay mark of 13 which is this so with that mark of 13 i'm going to go to produce a uh, horizontal line on that mark of 13 from that mark of 13 horizontal line like this okay i'm going to make it faint yeah faint like this as you can see on the screen things like that okay so after producing that horizontal line what is the next procedure the next procedure is this uh from the center of the circle okay towards my right hand side i'm having mark of what mark of 62 which is this so this is the mark of 62 right here on that mark of 62 i'm going to uh pr pick another mark from mark of 62 a mark of what a mark of 50 which is what which is this so those two marks will be projected vertically like this okay first mark and a right a second mark like that okay all right so this first mark is a mark what mark d why this is mark what mark c so we need to get mark b we are told that distance between a to b and c to b is what uh is a mark of 75 picking my ruler picking distance of what 75 which is this distance of 75 which is this so standing on my mark a right here you see i what i produce this arc Do you see that then on mark c with 75 i what i produce the second arc so my arc of 75 okay they intersect at this junction okay so from this junction now I am what picking my ruler and drawing it to here to mark a which is this okay can you see that then to mark what c 
to that junction max c to that junction which is what which is this okay all right so these are uh end of the rod e and we're told that this e mode swings yeah we're told that rod e swings in this direction okay it swings in this direction and what and this direction and this junction where they meet is junction what junction b okay so if they make a complete revolution what are we going to have so since we are moving clockwisely still maintaining 75 on my compass 75 on my compass so at mark a one all right before doing that we are told that uh the end of the road e moves at a constant speed from c to d then back to c so what are we going to do right there what we are going to do right there is that we are going to actually uh divide distance between d and c into six equal halves into six equal halves so i'm going to be employing the division of line technique right here so from point d here, i draw this i employ my words division of line technique so if you don't know how to use this technique uh kindly visit our youtube page at michael tech and check for the video division of line technique or you can as well just swing to the playlist of basic tech basic technology then you will see the video right here division of line technique okay zero one two three four one two three four five zero one two three four five i think it's complete okay no it's not complete we are going towards six then from here i have my i have my maxis so we are dividing d to c into what six equal apps so you zero one two three four five and what and six okay all right so that is right there the distance between c to d has been divided into, into six equal apps okay zero one two three four five six so the next thing is what i'm going to pick my compass pick distance between a to c a to b which is what 75 this distance a b which is 75 okay i'm going to come towards a1 on a1 i what i strike my arc do you see do you see the arc so then it moves from c to d if you read the question on the screen the question on the screen says what that point e moves from what from c to d and back to c so we are starting from here from mark c so on mark c this was this area so this area we got on mark c5 now it's on max c6 that we have that first now on max c5 which is this on max c5 with the same 75 i watch i strike another arc so this was this is the intersection i call this mark what mark b1 okay mark b1 so with my ruler i join uh b1 to what to a1 in this order like this thin line okay then i join uh okay let me do the number in here i can call this mark zero one two three four five and what and six so then i'm going to join what mark c1 which is the first mark here to here to b1 here faintly faintly so we asterisk the mark of what b since we are drawing a locus the cover of, of mark b so i have my b1 so with my 75 right now i come to here uh mark a2 come to mark a2 i strike and act faintly yeah so you need to open your eyes very well okay then on mark c2 okay i draw my arc what faintly this is my arc for c2 faintly so i need to relocate my a2 which is this so this is where they meet okay this will be my what my b2 so i join uh b2 to a to a2 like this then b2 to a to c2 like this okay so next uh let me start from c3 so that i don't make mistakes c3 this is my arc for c3 right here then a3 with 75 i what i draw my arc this is the was this is junction okay so i'm going to asterisk that i'm going to asterisk that so this will be my what my b3 my b3 okay that's be my b3 so with my b3 right there i join my b3 to a to a3 then c3 to a to b three right here do you see that okay so b not b1 b2 b3 okay do you see those spots you feel those spots okay so the next uh procedure the next procedure is to pick my 75 come to be a for okay let me do c4 first come to c4 
I want I strike my arc on C4 like this. Then on A4, I want I strike my arc. So my corresponding arc give me this. That's my what B4. Then picking my ruler, I join what uh, B4 to A4 like this. Then C4 down to A to B4 like this. Okay, that is it. So B0, B1, B2, B3, B4. So on C5 right here, I draw my arc this way. You see faintly. Then on A5 with 75, I what I draw my arc. It intersects right here. That's my what. That's my B. Five. So I join B five to A five, then C five to A to B five, which is B right here. So next is what uh C six, which is this. Okay, I what I draw my arc faintly, then with my A six, I what I strike the corresponding arc. So here is my what that's my B six. So I join B six to A to A six, then D to A. D to B6. So as the question says, it says at uniform or constant speed, point E moves from C to D, then back to C. So we are now at Mach D to get B6 now. So to progress to A7, it will start moving backwards until you get to what point C. Okay. So to get my uh, B7, I'm going to place my compass on C5 now. So this will be what C5 over 7. This will be C4 over 8. This will be C3 over 9. This will be C2 over 10. And this will be what? C1 over what? Over 11. So on C7 now, on C7 over C5, I what? I draw this arc. I draw this arc. Can you see? Which is this? So then on A7, yeah, as you can see, this is where it touches. Okay. So I'm having my what? B7 right here. So I'm going to join A7 to B7 like this faintly then c5 to what to b7 like that faintly okay so to a8 i'm going to come to c8 over 4 okay draw my arc which is this as you can see on the screen right there then on a8 right here place my compass and what uh i'm sure you don't you don't make mistake okay this is my a8 here on a8 so i what i draw so here is my what here is my b8 so i pick my ruler i join b8 to here to a8 right here then c4 over 8 to here to b8 right there okay so uh c3 over 9 which is this i draw so i'm having that i'm having that right there then to a9 a9 i'm having what this a9 which is why i'm having this so I have my arc right here. This is my what? B9. Okay, with my compass right there, I draw what? This arc to here. C3, C9. Then from here, I draw to what? To A9. Faintly, faintly. All right, faintly, like that. Okay, so that is that. So next is what? On C2 over 10, which is this. On C2 over 10, so I draw my arc which is as you can see you can see that arc right here that is this very arc here this one right here that's the arc there then on my uh a10 okay i would i draw the corresponding arc so for this arc here you can see this way it's what it touches this way it touches so this is my what my b10 so joining from a10 to b10 like this okay then from b10 to b to C to C ten like this. Okay, that's it. Right? So C eleven on C eleven, I pick my compass. I what I draw. So you can see that arc right there. Then on A eleven, okay, I what I draw. So this the intersection right here. So this is my what B eleven. Okay, so I'm going to join A eleven to here. B eleven, which is this then my c11 to be b11 which is this so here is the curve so the next step is just pick your french curve and join each of the mark together to bring out the what the curve you can see by the time you get to a11 it comes back to c so if you come to this it will go back to this starting point which is our, our b0 here okay so pick your french curve and what and join each of those points of this all together now all right Okay, so that is the 
uh, locus of point B actually made for the problem on the screen. So thank you. You can also follow us on our social media platform on Instagram and on Facebook at Michael Tech. Likewise on YouTube also. Thank you.